Because I want to ask you about your girlfriend. I must know who she is, or you told me her name. She doesn't have a name. It's some sort of birth defect. It's only about 12 people we both know. I can't remember five of their names, so we're down to Cuddy, your ex-wives. Your mama. We need to run a kidney function test. Yes. If only she wasn't in a coma, we could get her to run a test to find out why she's in a coma. The results would likely be paradoxical. Can't be Cuddy, because you're straight. Can't be... We could talk the mechanic through the test. Too complicated. Unless he's thirsty. Drink her urine. If it has a strong, concentrated taste, it means the problem's in her kidneys. Watery taste means it's her brain. And then you can fix it? Let's say yeah. How do I get the urine out of her? It'll take a straight catheter and insert Those it. Your only questions? Not, is it safe? Or is there another way? Or are you out of your minds? But you wouldn't ask me if... Wait a second. You're in love with her. That explains why you're so eager to get her naked, then have a drink. Because most guys like to go the other way around. Why do you care how I feel about her? Because now, I know that I can get you to do anything to save her. Tell him how to tap the keg. Milk, milk, lemonade. Uh, it tastes kind of watery. That's bad news. Either increased intracranial pressure or something's wrong with our hypothalamus. How do you figure out which one it is? We don't do anything. You're gonna drill a hole in her skull. If she regains consciousness, it's increased intracranial pressure. And if it's the other thing? She'll die. But if it's the hypothalamus, she's dead anyway. If the problem is the pressure in her brain and I fix it, is she gonna be all better? Nope, but it'll give us more time to figure out what's wrong. I have to get someone else. I can't do this. You love her. Right? You'd do anything to save her. Not this. I can't do this. It, it, if she dies because of something that I did, then listen, I... Listen, listen. I am not going to let you hurt her, okay? Oh, please. This is our only chance. Was easy. Hey, her head is stabilized and the drill bit is sterile. I placed the drill bit against the upper left part of her forehead, about an inch above the temple. It's not going anywhere. Bone's harder than wood. Lean into it. The skull's only a quarter inch thick. Once you're midway through, drill in shorter bursts. Come out the other side. You've gone too far. Mm. Okay, now what? Now what? Let the fluid drain. She's waking up, she's waking up. Sean? What's going on? South Pole Doc is out of her coma. And now we have a new symptom. Increased intracranial pressure. Why are we out here? It's the patient room. ICP plus kidney problems plus lung collapse equals... The most likely suspect is a tumor throwing off clots. We ruled out cancer. But not clots. What causes blood clots? Bacterial endocarditis. Not without a fever. Deep vein thrombosis plus an existing PFO. PFO would have been discovered in her pre-South Pole physical exam. What if the clots aren't clots? Atherosclerosis. Fatty plaque builds up on the arterial walls. Pieces break off. Block blood flow. Explains everything. She has zero risk factors. Forget fat. Think clots. 
No. You're standing up to me? Maybe. Just to clarify, you should do that when you're right. Sorry for the confusion. How could a clock- Could be a different kind of fat, fat emboli. It's a perfect fit. Except it's completely impossible. Fat emboli requires an unrepaired bone break. It's between the x-ray and the exam I've seen her entire- That's what I'm talking about. Take off her socks. I could, I could do it. No, oh, I got it. Your toe is broken. Oh my God. It's a bone marrow been leaking into your bloodstream. Those fat emboli have caused blockages in your kidney, lungs, and brain. It doesn't even hurt. Cold numbs everything. It does a particularly great job on the extremities. You'll need to close the break to stop the marrow from leaking. This one you will feel. Will you do it? He drilled a hole in your skull after drinking your pee. I think he's up for this. Grab the tip of her toe with your right hand, hold the break with the other. On the count of three, pull hard. One, two, three. Ah! I'll splint your toe. You'll be fine. Thank you, House. Don't thank me. He's the one who saved your life. <laughs>